Okay, um, now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to work on the elastic for the, um, the neckline of the cup. And I really don't feel like going and moving the camera, so we're just going to do this right here. We're just going to, we've got, I'm going to set it for zigzag. We're going to get it just zigzag my elastic so it's caught on something. Okay, and then we're going to kind of do the same thing that we did elsewhere. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to come right to, right to the edge, actually. So on the back side, not stretching. Just coming right across the back. Come on. deal with this little um, scoop in the back in a little bit. I'm just going to continue with this elastic. It looks like I got a little boo boo there. This is definitely not my best sewing. that back. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, let me cut that. We don't need that. So we're going to fold this back. So I've now encased it and then I'm just going to zigzag along the edge. Now I know we still have to deal with a strap over here and we'll get to that. So I'm just going to fold. Okay, so I'm just now zigzagging my elastic around the edge around the neckline okay so I can kind of jump over here and do the other side now So where the casing is, it's just a little bit thicker right there. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my underwire. Since I've already finished up the side over here, I'm going to insert this in the front. So <clears throat> this is a little bit long. I'm going to keep a little bit because I'm actually going to fold it back. So that's kind of a nice, so remember the color is in the front. So feed it. And my cat's coming over to say hello. And so I'm going to push this all the way in. This kind of goes towards the back. So that way it's all the way to the end. Kind of as far as I can push it. Because when we finish up the front, we don't want that wire to get damaged. Okay. <clears throat> so now what we can do is we can actually just detach these. And I can work on one side. I guess I could have done that for the other part too, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna fold this down because I think that'll make the cleanest finish and then just stitch it straight across. And I'm doing it on this side so I can actually see what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I, I do have a zigzag in there, so. Just do right there. 
at the end of the casing my little bar tack Fold that back, fold it under, so then I can do my little little stitch there to secure the casing back. And oh, it's like I did not do that great of a job of doing that. I might go back and fix that up a little bit. I didn't fold it over enough to do my stitch. So maybe Yeah, I think I <clears throat> before I do too many stitches, I might want to just stop and seam rip and fix the other stuff. I fix most of the other stitches off camera. So yeah, I'll probably take that and fix that so it looks a little bit more like that side. Okay, so now we have a couple things left to do. We've got to do this strap. So for the front, I'm going to take and we're just going to do like a little silver ring and hook it on there. Um, and depending on what size elastic I want to use, I think I'm going to do a black elastic for my strap. So I'm going to go get some black, probably 3 eighths of an inch elastic and um, some rings and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, and I still have this little piece of elastic there. I'm gonna keep that there for a minute. So I'm basically gonna fold that down and then I'm going to stitch over here. Now I wanna make sure that it is over enough and actually I'm gonna change this to a straight stitch because I think that'll be better. And I'm gonna pull this aside and basically just try and make sure that I don't stitch that ring and then stitch straight across from edge to edge. <clears throat> and then once I've done that, then I can actually go back and trim up that. I'm sure there's more beautiful ways to finish this up. And just my camera's about to die, so let me get that one. So, <clears throat> and you know, a bigger ring could also work too. Um, that way, it kind of gives you the flexibility, so it's not going to be so tight inside the ring. So I'm just kind of look to see how much I have folded down. <clears throat> Come over here and stitch. So back stitch. stitch there. And I can trim that off. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to get to my strap. So I will be right back. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is um, we're going to do the whole elastic, but we're going to do adjusters on both sides. And I basically want to take it and do it all in one piece. So this is going to be a little tricky. So the first one's fine. First side's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the slide. So we're going to attach to the slide over here. And I know it's a white thread, black elastic. Not ideal, but that way you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> So I made this whole elastic piece about 36 inches long, so about a yard. So we're gonna come with the face side towards this elastic. And we're gonna feed this, feed this through the slide. Obviously. So it's about that much. So that way we can adjust it in the front. And just to make sure that I don't accidentally um, uh, 
do something incorrectly. Okay, so it's going to come back around here. So then we need to come here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go. So I've got now the right side facing in here. And this is where it's a little tricky because we're going to have to do some a little bit of reverse stuff on here. It won't be too bad. Uh, and no, we can't do that yet. Okay, so in order to do this, we actually need to put this... Oh, bless you, honey. We need to put this through, through here first. And then we can come through here. So, you see what I did is I put the slide here. Then I had to go through the ring, and then I'm gonna basically come here, and we are gonna come, kind of push this, we need to push the elastic out of the way. So now we're gonna come through, <clears throat> so we need to attach that slide. So I'm gonna go up in the middle, and kind of see, and then flip that back down to the other side. So we have to basically close this other end around the slide, and this is just the difficult way to do it. But we, this is the only way to do it since I'm gonna have a continuous piece. Okay, so now once I've got that through there, I'm going to stitch that raw end in there. And if you're deciding to use like a, a thicker strap, um, like a thicker uh, bikini strap elastic, um, I actually do have slides that are for thicker fabric. So what I'm gonna do here, so now we've got the two ends on there. You see it's one big piece. Well, I'm gonna find the middle right there. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna attach, pin that middle right to the middle there. And then I'm just going to walk this around. And then we're going to um, zigzag this on. So let me get my trusty zigzag going. Line that up. And then zigzag that onto the back neckline. Okay. okay. We can then trim up that piece of elastic that's sitting over here. Voila, our bikini top is done. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.